Hey everyone, it's Rochelle McRae with Celebrity On Set, and I am with the one and only beautiful Leanne Sweet. How are thank you? Thank you. I'm good, thank you. You're very beautiful yourself, by the way. Thank you. I'm standing next to an icon, and here we are with, okay, Best Damn Sports Show. Yep. Okay, so what is your favorite moment from Best Damn Sports Show? Oh my gosh, there were so many. You know, I, I was one of those girls that actually got to go out on the road and do all the fun pieces. There was actually one summer where I spent 40 days on the road and just got to go to baseball parks. So this is kind of fitting. A lot of these guys are my friends. I do poker on NBC now, so it's a little different. It's a little more boring, but um, I don't know. I had so many fun moments. Like Shaq used to come on our set all the time, and we used to get, I mean, I'd cover NASCAR. I mean, it was just insane stuff. I'd jump out of airplanes. Anything that John, Sally, or the guys on the set didn't want to do, I did. They're like, uh, Leanne will do it. She'll fly with the Blue Angels. Okay. Yeah, so I was the crazy one, but it was all fun. So now that you're on Poker After Dark yep. on NBC, um, do you just feel the intensity of those guys sitting there? I mean... Yeah, you know, it's very intense. It's, it's kind of weird in a way. They're very... I um, hate to say this, but a lot of people acknowledge it. They're almost socially inept because a lot of them play online or they play at these tables and they're so engulfed sort of in themselves that, you know, you're like, hey, can I get an interview? And they're like, oh... Pretty girl, oh my God, like they don't even know how to talk. You know, I'm thinking you just made $3 million on a hand and like you think I'm going to bite, but it's okay. They're pretty fun though. We just did our Heads Up Poker Championship, like a special series with celebrities and poker players and Annie Duke won. So she was on the Celebrity Apprentice. She goes, finally, I was number one on something on NBC, which was kind of funny, but it was good. It was girl power. That's awesome. Okay, so you're here tonight yep. for Jake Peavy. Now, what is, is there a specific charity that you are supporting? Uh, yes, well, you know, Barry Zito has actually been a great friend of mine for a really long time. I do a lot of stuff with our troops. I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan 13 times since 9-11. My dad served in Vietnam. He had Raquel Welch and Bob Hope. So I'm just kind of holding that torch. You know, I've done covers for Maxim and FHM, but, like, for the troops. So I go over there, and I'm, not that I'm Raquel Welch, but I'm kind of like my generation of what she was to my dad. So they'll, you know, I'll go into their barracks and my picture's on their wall or whatever, you know. So anything I could do for my country. And when I heard my friend Kenny Thomas was playing, he's friends with Barry and all those guys. I said, well, i got to show up and show my support. Barry does um, strikeouts for the troops. And a lot of guys in MLB, a lot of pitchers, have donated their $100 every time they strike somebody out. Four wounded warriors. We have 23 wounded warriors from the Marine Corps, uh, from the Marine base down in San Diego. So a lot of the money goes back to good causes to helping these guys when they come home. So, and I love Jake Peavy. I mean, the White Sox are great, but, you know, I'm really here for Barry Zito. Now, what is the biggest thing that you take away from your visits in Iraq? Um, you know, and it's Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, that, that Our men and women in the military are the bravest people on the face of the earth, and you and I couldn't do what we do in the entertainment business if it wasn't for them in uniform and those before them that came along that gave us women, you know, I go to these Muslim countries and women can't drive, they they can't live in their own house, they can't drive their own car, I mean, we couldn't be able to do what we do, so I really don't take that for granted, and it's really amazing to see young men and women put their life on the line and sign that check knowing that it could get cash with their life, and that they lay that on the line for us to live a good life here. I mean, we're partying with all these celebrities, and we're having a good time, and they're out there right now, somebody's being shot, somebody's probably being blown up, you know. And I always try to remember that, you know, and be thankful for that. Well, I know that they appreciate your your time and service to them as we appreciate their time I'm and sure service. I'm sure they would love to see you too sometime, Rochelle. They would love it. Well, thank you so much for Absolutely. speaking with us. This is Rochelle McRae with Celebrity On Set. And Leanne Tweeten, thank you so much. Bye.